Hey guys, it's Jane from Legion Gaming. In this video, I was actually trying to make a Battlefield Hardline video, but uh, servers were a little bit dead right now. It's like 10 p.m. Pacific time. There weren't really any maps in game mode, and I so didn't want to play on the game. So uh, I thought, you know what, it's the last night of the Cold War 2 beta. Why don't we just hop on and sort of give my opinions on the game as it is right now? And uh, ooh, we almost choked that. I got beamed. But as we talk about that, we're going to be using the M1A1 or M19. 28 Thompson, which looks just like the M1A1 from Battlefield Hardline, um, if you look at it right here. And uh, this is this gun is so fun to use. It just came out um, with the uh, increased level cap to level 35, and it's just absolutely it's so fun to use. And uh, that's something about this game is the pubs are actually really fun. I used to get super like frustrated with it when it first came out, but that was really just sort of adjusting to boots on the ground. Uh, now that I've been playing it for, I probably put like six hours, maybe ten hours into this, probably like ten hours into this. I'm actually starting to learn the maps, the modes, the meta. It's just so fun to like play it like this, and I really can't wait to play it competitively. Um, now, I'm going to raise up some of my concerns, uh, because most of the stuff I've been saying is really good. I actually um, do like the streets, which I'll get to later, um, which I originally didn't think I would. Um, but uh, the main concern is just sort of goes in line with the gun that I'm using right now. It's just that um, SMGs are just so powerful in this game. Um, now that they've added the M1A1, I'd say that 4 out of the 5, or even 5 out of the 6 best guns in the game are SMGs. Uh, obviously you can exclude snipers, but the only um, assault rifle that can even contest with the SMGs is the STG-44. Uh, other than that, it's pretty much an entirely SMG dominated game, which is really not something you're going to want to have in a video game. Um, just because it gets so annoying having to play a certain playstyle. I mean, you guys just watch the kill feed throughout the game, it's going to be mostly SMGs. Um, and it, it's just really a problem. I feel like they just need to make the AR stronger, because I really do like the current strength of the SMGs, um, just like with how they play. When it comes to recoil and damage and stuff, I feel like the SMG's recoil and damage is in a good spot right now, but uh, they just really need to bring up the damage and the fire rate of the other weapons, especially the assault rifles. I mean, on a boots on the ground game, the assault rifle should really be like a uh, five shot kill. I'm sorry, not five shot kill, a three shot kill up close, uh, but right now, the assault rifles are topping four shots. When it's like when this weapon has a three shot kill range up close, and uh, it's just, especially, they have higher damage and a faster fire rate. I mean, even if you give the assault rifles much more control and lower recoil, uh, there's just no way you can compete with uh, better damage and, and uh, a faster fire rate. Oh no! <laughs> Choke over there. Yeah, but other than SMGs, um, I feel like this game's pretty good. Um, and the balance within the SMG class is pretty good as well. Um, the one main thing they need to do with streaks is make the higher streaks uh, stronger. Um, the mid-tier streaks are super fun to use from the fighter pilot uh, to the glide bomb. They're really fun to use. But it's once you get to those higher tier streaks. I know we only really have one high tier streak right now, which are the paratroopers. And those are quite bad. I feel like they can make them good if they just uh, buff their AI a little bit. But right now they're in a pretty bad state. Uh, the one streak that does look really good though is uh, the you're going to be able to get into like a gunner spot of a plane and that looks like it's going to be really good. So I'm excited for that but uh, they really do need to get some better high level streaks because this streak is pretty freaking fun to use. But uh, once you go like above the mid tier streaks it gets kind of bad kind of quickly. Like see that that's pretty freaking fun and entertaining to use. Like it's really immersive and fun. And uh, that's one of the main things about this game is it's immersive, but it's not like, I don't want to say too immersive because you obviously should keep historical context in mind when you're playing a World War II game, but it's uh, not immersive to the point where it detracts from gameplay. I feel like all the uh, sort of key aspects of a COD game are here um, in this game, and you they don't really make too many like gameplay sacrifices for historical accuracy, but at the same time they do like maintain a somewhat immersive and historically accurate game. I mean, it's not like mind-blowing the immersion, and I really feel like Battlefield 1 does do a better job of immersion, um, but uh, this really is just a fun COD game at its heart, which I think is really good. And I know a lot of you don't like COD, but uh, this is more of a fun old-school COD game than like a uh, 
Infinite Warfare kind of COD game. And, uh, yeah, if I think of any other things throughout the video, I'll probably just say them, obviously. But uh, for now, I'll probably just finish out the live commentary as it is. And uh, right now, my team is winning by quite a bit. I believe I'm top of the scoreboard. Oh, no! Yeah, see, that's the thing. I'm going 20 and 12 right now, which is decent, but not too good. Not good enough to clutch streaks. I see. I mean, decent wall and kill streak. Ooh, kill streak to clutch up those streaks. And uh, we should be good. Ooh. Yeah, the one thing about this M1A1 is it does have a crap ton of recoil. Oh god, I'm screwed! The shotguns, the incendiary round shotguns are also annoying. I mean, at the end of the day, you're gonna have some annoying things in every COD, and the main reason why I say it's annoying is that, oh my god, that guy got completely bullshitted. The main reason why I say it's annoying is because I don't use it <laughs> at the end of the day. Dude, like, uh, I switch over to the M1A1, pick off a guy, but switch back to the M1928, finish him off, but uh, it all got ruined. Oh man, if you're not taking that guy out. There's got to be some more enemies around here. Oh, another thing uh, that I just realized is the uh, spawns. Spawns, in my opinion, on this game are pretty garbage. Um, they really, like, at times they will, it'll feel like your spawns are never flipping, and then other times it'll be like you'll be in a hard point, you'll have full control of the hard point. And then you'll kill the enemies, and all of a sudden they get spawned. So it's like, you get penalized for controlling the hard point. It's kind of weird. Um, and especially in like a competitive basis, like having consistent control of spawns is really important. Uh, just for like, you know, just because it brings some more strategy in the game and some usefulness for actually getting set up and like anchoring spawns. So I really hope they do fix that for the main game. I mean, Infinite Warfare which I know a lot of you might hate on, but uh, Infinite Warfare, oh my god, that guy kind of got turned on. Infinite Warfare had really shitty spawns when the game came out, especially for like competitive and hard point and stuff, um, but by the end of the game, they actually were able to fix them, so hopefully they can do the same for this game as well. Now, we are getting pretty close to our streaks right here. Let's see if we can catch a guy off guard in mid. Okay, there's going to be some guys coming around this corner. Come on, let's just be patient. Okay, we got one streak. We're one off another. Oh no. Okay, they're all over there. Oh, okay, we got the mortar strike. I couldn't clutch the artillery barrage. Now let's see where we want to place this. Oh, that looks like it might get a decent amount of kills. A, two, and a hit marker. I'll take it. Ooh. This gun just melts up close, man. Fire rate's just so fast. It feels so different than the than the uh, hardline M1A1. It's really interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna push through because I feel like the enemies. Oh my gosh, really? Let's see where the enemies are coming from? I have no clue where the enemies are actually. Oh, looks like they're gonna be right. There, it looks like your teammate's trying to get on the flank. Come on, give me that. Yeah, that's the thing. Once you get set on your target with that one, you're really not going to be able to change where you're going too much. Okay. Oh yeah, one thing that was a major complaint of mine was the uh, sprint out time. So like, the amount of time it takes for you to aim down sights after sprinting. Um, but they seem to fix that already in the first week of the beta, so they just listen to people's feedback. We were able to fix that pretty quickly. So that was pretty cool. Their whole team just spawned there and went underground to hide from that. Ooh. There's gonna be some enemies coming right here. Unless they rotated. Oh no, I, I, I itched my nose. That's a choke. Oh, he's still lying down there. My gosh. Okay, let's rotate. I'm probably gonna catch some enemies right here. Wow. Okay. I don't know where this guy's going. Where is he? There he is, my gosh. <laughs> that guy's giving me a tough time trying to find him. Yeah, I 
I kind of, I'm kind of interested to see how many of you either played the beta or thinking of picking up the game. So I know the majority of my fan base is a Battlefield fan base. So uh, we'll see how that. Oh, we'll see how that goes. And uh, I mean, as far as this compares to Battlefield, I'll kind of talk about this at the end of this game right here. And this game is obviously going to be a lot different from Battlefield. Uh, what I'm really interested to see is how they do the campaign because if they pull off a better campaign than Battlefield once, I feel like it could be said that uh, it almost immerses you a bit more because that's really the uh, main part of these games is really the campaign and the story it tells about the people. And uh, this game's campaign looks really good. Um, and Battlefield 1's campaign was pretty good, um, but it wasn't like anything great or insane. Um, it wasn't anything special, definitely. Um, but yeah, this game is going to be a lot different than Battlefield. Uh, you will still get that historical kind of gritty feel with how the guns are. Um, but as far as like Battlefield goes, the time to kill in this game is definitely going to align more with like something like Hardline rather than a Battlefield 1. Um, just because, okay, we're going to try to catch these guys off guard. But a Hardline is mostly like 2 to 3 bulls to kill, whereas a, this game is a, not sorry, not 2 to 3, like 3 to 4. Just somewhere with this game, whereas Battlefield 1 is more like 5 to 6. Um, so, if you're a Battlefield 1 fan and a fan of how the guns play, you might not be a great fan of this, but uh, if you're a fan of Hardline, you might actually really like how the guns feel in this game. So, I mean, obviously, it's all up to personal preference, and it would have been really nice if it was an open beta. Um, but uh, for those of you who are questioning, I would not pre order, especially at this point. Uh, there's really no reason to pre order whatsoever. I mean, so now the beta's over, there's no reason. I just wait until the game comes out, see what the content's like. Um, but, ooh, that was a filthy play of the game. But it looks like the maps are going to be good. Um, there's going to be plenty of game modes, and especially like the war game mode. It actually does get you really immersed in the game, which is something really cool. It really makes you feel like World War II, and uh, almost feel like your life is kind of like useless in the whole grand, grand scheme of things, because you can just throw your body at that bridge and keep building it. And it's just really cool. I actually am really excited for this game. I'm going to post this um, much more on my channel than I did Infinite Warfare. For those of you who have been around for a while, you might know that I posted Black Ops 3 on my channel for a while. Actually, I posted it probably for like four months into the game's life cycle. Like every other day, I did Battlefield Black Ops 3, Battlefield Black Ops 3. So I might get something kind of similar going with this. Who knows? We'll see what kind of feedback we get on it. But uh, that is about it for this video, guys. Tell me what you thought. The class I was using is right here for those of you who are actually interested. But uh, that's what it is for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.